Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my holy grails and fails video. Now it is made up of a lot of products this month. Just sort of been going around gathering up products to see what I do like and what I don't like. So if you want to know what I've been loving throughout the last couple of months then keep on watching. So first products I want to talk to you about is these four brushes created by sorry about the they are a little bit dirty these were created by my friend Emma and Emma is actually the owner of the pro eye stencils that I have reviewed on my channel before and um, if you want to sort of know about these then I'll leave the link below but Emma did make these and did sort of invent these brushes now they are four synthetic brushes and if you look closely they have got like the diamonds in them there as you can see now you get a fluffy domed brush here which is really really good for blending out products again you can see it there you then also get like a packer brush which basically you just pack product on with this one again it's like a really 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 nice shape especially to get right in your eye and get all that product on you then get a liner brush again this is a really really fine brush um, a really really good for liner and then the fourth brush is like a little concealer brush so if you do have any blemishes or anything like that you can actually like precisely get the product on with this brush because it is really really fine I absolutely love these I think they're really really amazing and really good quality they are really good on the price as well I think it's about $12.99 for all four brushes don't hold me to that it might be a little bit more um, but I will leave a link below to the pro eye website where you can go over and order these um, again like I said go over and show Emma some appreciation because honestly she's put so much work into these and they're absolutely amazing so I love those okay so the next uh, other product that I've been loving throughout this month when I've been doing freelance is the Pro Eye Stencils. Now, I absolutely hate doing wing liner and these just save my entire life. <laughs> um, so, if you don't know what these are, these are the eyeliner stencils. It's a medical grade disposable tape that helps you create the perfect wing on your liner. It's quick and easy to use and say goodbye to the hours spent in the mirror. So, all it is, it's just like an adhesive um, sort of thing. Like instead of using tape, it's more of like an adhesive strip that you just put on. It just looks like that. Absolutely amazing to get the really, really precise wing liner. Um, you get three um, options to do. So you can either go for like a small wing, medium wing, or like a, a, a dramatic wing. Depends on what you're wearing. But again, Emma, um, with, this was the first product that Emma ever released on the Pro Eye channel. Absolutely love it. And I was lucky enough to have the product sent to me to review. And like I said, I, I actually do love these. I think they're such a good idea because you have a lot of people using like ma uh, like um, scotch tape and salad tape to create the perfect wing. Instead of using that because it is going to dry out your under eyes because it is really sensitive, try and get your hands on some of these because they're absolutely amazing, especially if you have loved a wing liner. Honestly, get these. Okay, the next product is going to actually be from Primark. Now, I went into Primark about four months ago now, um, just so I'd have a little browse in the makeup section, just see if there was anything new, anything that would catch my eye, anything that I could put on for you guys that you may enjoy. And I come across this. Now, this is the Pure Glow. This is by a brand called PS. Now, PS is a brand that's in Primark, and it does do a lot. Um, a lot a lot of products that I have got here that I am going to review um, so this is basically the pure glow and it looks like this now if you can just see that it's got four different um, highlighters there and oh my god bitch these are pigmented so I'm first of all just going to go in with this color here now this is in the color desert and I'm just going to review it on the back of my hand for you. So this is just one stripe. And as you can see there, absolutely amazing, amazing pigment. I absolutely love it. If you've got more of like a light skin tone, then Desert may be the one that you want to try. The second one that I'm going to try for you here is going to be called Glimmer. And it's just this one here. So it's like a really, really nice gold colour. As you can see there, it does um, work on my hand there. And then I'm just going to rub it just there. So as you can see, that's Glimmer. Again, an amazing, amazing formula. It's not powdery at all. Um, it doesn't make you look like you've got loads on it. It's really, really blendable. I absolutely love it. The third one here is called Eden. So I'm just going to try Eden for you now. Again, just on the back of my hand. 
So this is more of like a pinky tone uh, highlight. Uh, again, you can see there, if you blend it out a little bit, you can see that it's not very powdery, um, but again, it gives you like a really, really good sheen. I absolutely love this palette. I just think it's so good. And especially for the price, I think this was averaged at about five pounds, which is really not a lot. And the last one is called Firefly, which is just this one here. And I'm just going to rub that just down there. And this is like a pure gold highlight, as you can see there. Absolutely beautiful. Especially for someone who's got like a darker skin tone. There is everything in here for you. So if you've got a light skin tone or anything like that, uh, you can obviously use any of these colours. If you've got a lighter skin tone, I'd probably go for like one of these two. Um, obviously darker skin tone, go for these two. But absolutely amazing. You can pick this up from Primark. Again, I think it was about £5. Staying on the brand with PS, the next products I just want to show you are going to be makeup palettes now these are three eyeshadow palettes uh, we've got the nudes one uh, a smoky palette and we've also got a bronze palette as well now I am going to show you uh, what products are inside so you can get so you've got this one here I'll just go through all the colors with you there these are like really, really finely milled guys I have done a tutorial on these and they're absolutely amazing And then you've got the last one here, which is the nudes one. Again, absolutely love these. They're really, really pigmented, guys. So, for instance, I'll just show you this one here. I've just rubbed that on there, as you can see, um, on the back of my hand. That's just like an inner glow, as you can see. They're really, really pigmented. And then if you just go for, like, I'm going to go for this, like, bronzy brown colour here. Just above that one. As you can see, absolutely beautiful, beautiful colour. Now, I think if someone who's trying to start up their makeup kit, um, if you are struggling to sort of go out and spend thousands of pounds at MAC or NARS or anything like that, you can actually go somewhere a little bit cheaper and sort of pick these up because they are really good quality. I think they're about £3 each. I do use these on customers, guys. If I am doing a freelance, I will sort of grab for these because they are really good. They've got a really good few transition colours in there. Absolutely love them. And again, really really good for price and if you're looking to uh if you're looking to splurge out and get some really good makeup go for these just try these out and see what you think because they are really really good and especially good for quality and for your money the next product on from ps is going to be this now this is the sculpt and blush kit now it just looks like this don't know if you can see that so it's got a blusher a highlighter and a bronzer really 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 good for um, as you can see, someone who's got like a lighter, light, lighter skin tone, really, really pretty. As you can see there, all three colours have been swatched there. So you've got like the blush, the highlight, and then the bronzer. All from this palette here, I absolutely love it. It's really, really good, really, really good versatile product. You can use it, especially like on someone who's got a lighter skin tone, you can use this. Again, it is from PS, so it just looks like this, and you can pick it up from either primer. I absolutely love this product. Okay, and then another product from PS is going to be this. Now, this is the setting powder by PS. It's really, really finely milled, as you can see there. I don't want to tip it out, but it's really, really finely milled. It's really, really good. It's got like, not like a yellow tone, but it's got like a creamier tone. So it re sets really well. It sets concealer under your eyes or it sets your whole face. It's really, really good. It doesn't add any extra colour either. So if you are scared that a powder is going to add extra colour or extra coverage, this doesn't. It's really, really good. And this was £3 again from the PS line at Primark. Moving on from PS, I am going to go on to a brand that I absolutely love and I've loved ever since I've started doing makeup and it is Makeup Revolution. I absolutely love Makeup Revolution stuff. So we're first going to start off with the Ultra Eyeshadows. Now this is looks like that and this is in the Flawless Matte. So it just looks like that. So they're all matte shades. Now as you can see there, there isn't any shimmers in this. You get 32 Ultra Professional Eyeshadows. 
And again, it's got some really nice transition colours in here. I just did a wedding at the weekend and I did use this palette. Because you can see that it's got a nice few like warm tones in there. So you can really, really get like a really nice warm crease colour with this. I uh, absolutely love that. I am going to splurge out and get a couple another palettes of these. Because again, they are really good for your quality. I think they're about £10, 32 eyeshadows, which I think is absolutely fab. The next Makeup Revolution product is going to be the Ultra Blush Palette. So it just looks like that. And as you can see that it's got eight blushes so you've got one that's more of like like this one up here this is more of like um a, a bright as you can see i don't know if you can see there hold on as you can see it's more of like a bright and then you've got ones that are like more pinky and stuff like that if you are into your pinky blushes then go for one of these. I just did um, a makeup tutorial a couple of days ago that I've got to upload and I actually used this colour for the crease and it was absolutely stunning and as you can see they are really really pigmented, they're really really pretty especially if you like wearing pink blusher, this palette is absolutely amazing. Again really good for pricing as well especially if you want to save you money. The next product from Makeup Revolution is going to be this. Now this is the Ultra Cover and Conceal palette. It's got uh, eight different colour concealers in there. It ranges from, doesn't really go for the light skin. I got this in light. I think there is three different shades in it. So there's light, medium and dark. I got the light one. I tried these before so I didn't want to get all three palettes. I just thought I'd get this one for now. But I am going to go out and get the medium and the dark. Just because they are really, really good uh, for under your eyes. And especially if you set it, they're, they're absolutely incredible. So I love that palette. Next product is going to be... This, now this is from a brand called Pro Artist. Now I've never heard of Pro Artist before, i just kind of come across them in Superdrug. And it's the Pro Lipstick Palette in Naked. And it just looks like that. So you get all these here. So it is a selection of 24 of the most popular nude lip colours. Highly pigmented and non-sticky formula for long lasting and intense colour. And as you can see there, they are, they are really, really good. And they are pigmented. Um, I just swatch a few here as you can see I've just swatched a few there on my fingers they are really really pigmented I use these on the I use these on everyone that I did at the weekend at the wedding and they absolutely loved it so again they do do quite a few different palettes in these I think there's about four I am going to go back and get all four because I just absolutely love them and then the last product I'm going to talk to you about is from a brand called I Love Makeup by Makeup Revolution, sorry, it's by Makeup Revolution, sorry, uh, and it is the fixing spray. Now, this is 100ml. You can buy these. I don't know if you can get these online, but you can actually buy them in store. It just looks like that. It's 100ml, and it's a really, really fine mist. So... It smells really, really good. It smells a little bit alcoholy, which obviously it's supposed because it's supposed to be a setting spray, but it's really, really good. I again, I use this on everyone at the weekend, and the makeup did not budge. So I think that's what you want to look for in a setting spray. Absolutely love it. This was five pounds, so I will always top up on this and use on clients because again, it's a really, really good product. So they're the products that I've absolutely been loving for the last couple of months. I'm now going to move on to products that I absolutely hate. Now, this is going to start with, I'm going to start with makeup, I think. So the products that I absolutely hate from that are these two palettes. Now, I ordered these off eBay. They looked like a Morphe palette when I, uh, on the picture, on the actual screen when you ordered, they look like Morphe palettes. When you open them up, they look like this. So there's quite a few different shades in there. Um, these eyeshadows are not good. They're not very pigmented. They don't blend. I mean, and when I say they don't blend, they're like a nightmare to blend. I tried to work with them and I just tried to create an eye on that and it, they're just so hard to blend. It didn't look good. I also got a colour one as well, uh, just to do like a little something funky. But again, it, it, they're just... They're just not good. For instance, look, that's when I've just touched. It's, it just doesn't, no. It just doesn't work. I don't like them. Uh, there was only cheap. I think there was only about four pounds each, but again, absolutely crap. Next product is going to be from PS. Now, this is a concealer palette. I thought I'd get this just to check it out and see what it'd be like. It does look like this. It's got four different uh, concealers in it, going from light to medium to dark. 
I got it, I tried it. This stuff creases under your eyes. It doesn't blend properly. When you pop it on, it looks very cakey, so you can tell that you've got product on. You try and set it with powder and it just cracks under your eyes, so it doesn't look very good at all. Um, I really wouldn't recommend this product. I think it was about four pounds. I wouldn't recommend it just because if you like flawless under eyes, don't go for this because it just absolutely creases everywhere. The next three products are going to be from also from PS. Um, and this is, the first one is a foundation stick. Just looks like that. This is absolutely awful. I don't know if you can see that. Just there. This is absolutely awful. Uh, when you put this on, it leaves bits on your face. Like it looks like you've got little stones on your face. Uh, it doesn't blend out. I've tried. It's just absolutely crap. Don't buy it. The next one is a concealer. It just looks like that. This is absolutely horrific. It dries instantly, so you can't blend it out. I even tried to um spray it with fix plus to try and blend and get the product a little bit warmer to try and blend it it doesn't blend it's really really bad so i really 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 would not recommend this product the next one is from uh, ps as well and this is a lip primer uh this just looks like that so as you can see there it just looks like that this is absolutely awful it doesn't do anything it literally just doesn't come on tea lips or anything like that it literally just feels like it's not doing anything um so i don't see any point for it really again wouldn't buy that either next product is going to be from w7 and this is the mega matte lips and it is a liquid lipstick just looks like that as you can see it just looks like that again i probably wouldn't buy this again just because when i got it out it smells really good um but it's I don't know if you can see that, it's just very, very streaky. Um, doesn't give much pigment. I don't know if you can't, if someone, if you're younger and you don't really want a lot of pigment, then grab these. I got this from like B&M just to try it out, but for me, it just didn't really work for me, so. And then the last product on the uh, fails list for me is going to be this foundation, and it's the uh, HD foundation from, again, from W7. This is not good. It has a lot of flashbacks. It claims to be 12 hour wear. Um, I tried this on someone and it literally came off within like the first hour. So I, I don't know if it was because of how I used it or how I applied it, but for me it just didn't work. It's not something that I really wanted to sort of splurge out on by again just because I didn't think it worked. This also has a really, really funky smell. Um, it smells like chemically, which I don't know if that is a good thing for a foundation, but for me, it just doesn't smell very nice, so I'll never buy that again. But that is everything from the Holy Grails and Fails video from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, and if you want to click the little bell to notify when I upload videos, then you're more than welcome to do that. Please, please, please give us a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. I'll leave all my social media links down below, and again, I will upload when I can next. So thank you for watching this video. Take care. Bye. Boy,